It is time for the fast break. This is where we go through our NBA games, what we got going on today. And I believe there's almost seven games going on. So we're going to get to those. Um, a couple of those stick out. So I got four here. I'm going to load you up. Here we go. First one, Lakers minus seven at the Pistons. I think the only side you can play on this is the Lakers. They just got absolutely smacked in mm -hmm. Philly by 40-plus. And the Lakers this year in general – have beaten up on the mediocre to bad team, sort of racked up the necessary wins. And then they've had some tight games here and there with some of the good teams. Obviously not Philly, but they like they beat the Suns at home, stuff like that. I, I like the Lakers side in this. I thought it would come out a little higher. I talked to an odds maker. He made the number eight internally. I thought it'd be like 10. I think the Lakers have a lot of talent and the Pistons have lost like 14 or so in a row. They're not very good against the point spread either. I think this has a double-digit win for the Lakers written all over it. I think it's a good bounce-back spot. I think they start strong as well. I, I like them first half as well. I like it. Next up, uh, Houston heading up to Denver. Denver's laying five and a half on this one. So this is back-to-back -back for Houston. Yep. Uh, went down to the wire with Dallas and then has to travel to the altitude and all that. Nuggets coming off an epic win in L.A. No Jokic, no Murray, no Gordon, but plenty of Reggie Jackson. 14 of 18 shooting. Uh, I like Denver here. I think five and a half feels cheap. I think this line should be like seven. And again, that's not like huge value to the casual better, but that's significant value um, just because of free throws at the end. But I think the Nuggets could win this by double digits. Rockets have been a nice story, and I like betting on them, but not in this spot. Back-to-back -back with travel against the defending champs. I know no Murray, but I think Gordon's going to play. I, I think, and Jokic, let's hope. I think the right side of this one is Denver. I like it. Let's round it out. Clippers minus one and a half at the Kings. I can't bet this, right? So both teams coming off unusual. I mean, epic long game with the Kings and Warriors on Tuesday night. That was they have circled. Now they get the Clippers coming in town, who just off an embarrassing loss. I would lean to the Clippers, assuming no Keegan Murray's for this one as well for Sacramento. I lean to the Clippers, but they're just not that good. They're right. mediocre. They can be good. Like, their best stretch of basketball is probably really good. I just can't get it for four minutes out of that or four quarters out of them. And Kings are, Kings have came back from a huge deficit against the Warriors, so you can never count them out. I, I think you have to pass on this game, but it'd probably be a lean to the Clippers just because you think they're going to respond to that embarrassing defeat at home. Fair enough. I like it. And if you miss any of those, please head on over to OnlyPlayers.com. Our entire recap and breakdown is there. And that wraps up the fast break.